Hi there, this is a quick demo of the KPM Full Suite product. As you can see on screen, this is where we have our ecosystem and the Full Suite will consist of the bookkeeping, payroll, accounts production, corporation tax self-assessment and practice management. Aside from that, we've also got charity accounts as well as company secretarial and time and fees. So these are additional modules to our Full Suite. Uh, so if you guys are interested, we do have separate sessions and free trials available for these modules. But as I mentioned, today's focus will be the full suite. So if we click onto the bookkeeping at the top and then we'll kickstart that journey and then start progressing onto the other modules afterwards. So the first thing you'll see whenever you click into any modules in KPM is the global dashboard. And just below here, this is where we have all of our clients. So if there's any clients you'd like to look at, if I go onto one of my clients here, let's say London PCO, this will then take me to their dashboard. And once I'm on their dashboard, I can customize it as much as I deem fit. And on the left, we have all of our sections for the bookkeeping, as there's quite a lot. I will keep it as succinct as possible. Um, so guys, if you are in, ever interested in seeing a bit more in, in depth, we do have those free demos available as well, or free trials even better. So this is where, of course, we've got the KPM Pay for the embedded payment system, which is integrated through KPM. We've got uh, invoices. Uh, where we can track all of our invoices either individually or in bulk via three-step CSV, quotations, recurring invoices, as well as receipts and items all here. Purchases, of course, will be similar, so you can also raise purchases either individually or in bulk. And we've got CapiScan, which is the scanning facility for expense receipts. One thing to note, guys, is we do have a 365 product, which is coming out very soon, and this will be superseding the CapiScan feature. So, do keep an eye out on that. It is very exciting. So, yeah, uh, again, uh, a lot of change is going to be happening in, in KPM, uh, which is good to see. So this is where we've also got quick entry, all to do with the payments and the receipts. You've got your fixed assets where you can add in your assets over here on the right. You can do your straight line, reducing balance, depreciation uh, automatically through the system, rollback. And there are links with corporation tax as well. Uh, another link we have supported with another module is payroll under the journals in uh, the task section. So if you run the payroll in KPM, there is an option to integrate the journals back to uh, the bookkeeping. And additionally, you can set up your budgets, dividend vouchers for shareholders, as well as bulk edit, where you can recode any of your accounts in bulk through KPM as well. And now on to bank. So bank, of course, is very important when it comes to the bookkeeping. You can set up your client's bank accounts and import those transactions across. Uh, we do have also bank feed supported, which can automatically bring your transactions into KPM using the true layer integration. And of course, the automatic bank reconciliation process after that. Aside from that, we also got the contacts where you can bring in your customers, suppliers, directors and shareholders. We've also got a schedule where we can do minutes and meetings and notes and VAT MTD. So of course, uh, with MTD, it's on the horizon. Uh, we are MTD uh, VAT compliant as well as MTD ITSA compliant, but that will be coming out very soon. And in terms of MTD, you can either have that done internally through KPM or you can do it externally by bridging VAT. Uh, and we also have CIS. So if you need to do subcontractor verification, CIS monthly returns to HMRC, you can do all of that. And last but not least, we have our reports. So any reports you'd like to generate can be done through the section here as well. So once we're happy with the bookkeeping, we can click on the C button here and proceed on to payroll. Uh, in terms of dashboard guys, as you can see, very similar to what we've just seen before. We can click onto London PCO as we did in bookkeeping and we've got their submission summary, PAYE details and payroll summary on the bottom right. On the left side of the screen, we have all of our payroll sections. The first one is manage payroll and to make this more succinct, uh, I'll kickstart it with the employees. So it's like a three-step process. So the first step is your employee imports. You can add them in one by one or bulk import uh, via CSV. We've also got year to date. So if you are doing mid-year payrolls, you can have that imported as well. And the second step would consist of your additionals for leave and holiday, um, you know, employee leaves, SSP, SMPs, bonuses, commissions, salary sacrifices for additions and deductions and so forth. So any of these aspects can be covered here. You've got your timekeeping for your records um, as well. And that is the second phase. The third phase is then to process the payroll, which can all be done here. You can then run the pension assessment along with that as well and run the payroll and submit FPS directly to HMRC. 
Uh, of course, with payroll, you can export out your payslips through the system. You can have them emailed directly, printed out, as well as PDF exported. And with payroll, it is password protected, of course. And one thing to note is that we don't uh, charge the users on the software. So if you ever want to give access to any staff or accountants, that's all going to be applicable through KPM, as well as client users as well. So if you want clients to have access to their own bookkeeping or payroll, as well as their own KPM hub, where they can do document e-signing, sharing or storage, that is all going to be supported through the software here. Um, aside from that, we've also got auto enrollments where you can do all your pensions. You can get that running alongside your payroll here with the likes of Nest, Smart Pension, People's Pension or any other UK based pension scheme providers. We also got all the sub, uh, submissions that you need. So you've got your RTIs here. Uh, P11Ds is where we can generate and submit direct to HMRC as well. And we have payroll journals where we can generate through the software um, and export them out to other systems as well. Okay. And just to finish off, we have our payroll report. So any reports you'd like to generate, you can go through the system here. And once I select a specific report, you can have that exported out over at the top here. So once we're happy with payroll, we can then go to the accounts and the tax modules, which of course are all interlinked. So if I click onto London PCO again, uh, to make accounts easier, I'll break this down into three steps. First step is the trial balance, reports is the second. And the third step is the submission. So if I click onto trial balance and click onto add trial balance here, I can fill out all the details respective to it. I've got modes of imports, bookkeeping, CSV, manual, QuickBooks, zero free agent, all supported. Once, of course, I've selected a particular one, so I'll select bookkeeping as an example. This will take me directly into that tab where I can see uh, my trial balance will be automatically uh, balanced out. So if you're happy with that, you can save it. And then you can go on to your reports, which will be the second phase. So if I click add new report, we can fill out all the details. We've got the reference number, description, report type, which should either go to full, uh, sorry, to HMRC through the full accounts or abridged or filleted, which will go to company's house. So once we select exactly which report we need, unfortunately, we don't have any trial balance created on the system. We must have deleted it by accident. Uh, but once there is a trial balance here, you can then have that automatically uh, saved and generate your account. So if I just go back quickly for a second and see if we can have any trial balance. And just have that saved, go back to the reports and click add new reports and add that trial balance, right? Once we've added that trial balance, if we wanna show comparative figures, you can, but you can just generate the account directly through the software, skip and preview, and this will automatically generate, okay, interesting logo that we have here. But uh, again, guys, just to clarify, you can add in your own logo. Uh, clearly, we've got some uh, kind of Indian colors going on here with this eye over uh, in this uh, logo. But uh, again, Anything that you'd like to customize, that's just a testament. If you would like to change anything within the accounts, you can make all the necessary adjustments as much as uh, you want, right? So you've got the contents page with your links, you've got the company information, director's report, balance sheet, income statement. So all the relevant sections you would like to make changes to can be supported here directly for you. So if, you're, if you've done the changes, you can have that saved. In my case, I will back out as uh, I don't want to you know, clog up this account with any more dummy ones. But in terms of customizing the accounts, you can either go to report settings on the right here, where we can add and remove specific sections in our accounts, or we can go to the settings on the left and we have our company, uh, sorry, report settings. And this has the company info. So if you're dealing with FRS 102, 105, 1A, and so forth, that can all be applied We've also got company contacts, director's report, balance sheet, income statement. So all the relevant sections within the accounts will be supported here and you can make those necessary adjustments. Once you're happy with that, you can have that submitted direct to HMRC um, via corporation tax or via company's house under submit under tasks here. So if I'm happy with that, I can go into corporation tax. In the case, I would like the full account coming across. And I can then go to the, the tasks, CT600 return, create the CT600, and this is where we can fill out the details. As I mentioned again, we've got description, form type, either short or full, return type, either new or amended, and the import, we can either select accounts or we can do that manually from scratch. So if I select uh, accounts, 
This will then take us into the saving aspect. So we've got quick entry as well as main form. Quick entry is quite self-explanatory because this is where you can make any quick amendments and changes within your CT600 through these calculator tabs. Um, we've also got the attachments over here as well as reports. So any additional reports you like to generate can be done here as well. Um, in terms of the main form, we've got page one up to page 11, which has all the sections in between. And page two is where we can add any supplementary forms. So if there's any particular form you'd like, you can then select it and uh, they will automatically populate at the top here. And if you're happy with that CT600, you can have that directly submitted to HMRC. And now we're gonna finish off with self-assessment. Technically is the last kind of tax module. And after that, we'll go on to practice management, which is the last module in the full suite. So as you can see here in self-assessment, we have SA100, 800 and 900. So again, guys, these are all supported. So if you're dealing with trusts, partnerships, LLPs or individuals and sole traders, they're all going to be supported here. So if I go to one of my uh, sole traders, for example, under the SA100, this is where I can click to add SA100. I can fill out all the details here. We've got return type, either new or amended. Import data, we've either got the previous year, as well as bookkeeping, accounts, and manual, all supported. So whichever one you pick, you can click save, and this will then allow you to edit your SA100 further. So you've got your main form with your income, tax release, finishing the tax return, with all the links in between, where we can make all the necessary adjustments. We've also got the supplementary forms, where we can click to add uh, tax calculation, uh, supplementary form. So if I select the specific ones I require, they will automatically populate the same that we've seen before in corporation tax, right? Another thing we do have, which is very helpful, is the HMRC uh, SA100 API link supported. So if you get this authorized with HMRC, there is the additional uh, kind of imports that you can bring in terms of employment records so p60 pension details they can automatically synchronize across the KPM. so really handy because it uh, again saves you the time to manually enter all that information into the system right so if you're happy with that you can go to the reports on the left this is where we can see the sa100 with all the um, main forms and the supplementaries You've got your SA302 computation file, payments on account, and detailed schedule. So if you're happy with all these reports, guys, you can then go back to uh, the dashboard where we initially came from and have that submitted directly to HMRC. One thing to note is that we do provide unlimited e-signing called CapiSign. So if you want to get any of your documents e-signed through the software, there's no restrictions. And uh, if you want the VAT return, account, tax return submitted and e-signed, it's all going to be supported directly through the software. And this is where we've got uh, practice management, which we'll go on to next. And this will be uh, the last kind of piece of the jigsaw puzzle, right? So as you can see here, we've got the, uh, the dashboard, which will load up. We've got all of our clients, as well as our deadlines, tasks, which will be showing everything that's going on within the practice. And this will give us like a bird's eye view of the entire uh, basically all the kind of uh, outgoings, ingoings within the practice. Uh, and uh, also the growth element is another big thing about practice management, which we'll cover very soon as well. Um, but if I go into the workspace, just to kickstart that, as you can see, we've got the clients here, which will show us uh, in the system. So if I click onto one of my clients, again, I can just click onto any random one here. If I uh, click onto their link, this will show me their specific dashboard. I've got their timeline, activity pipeline, with all the specific you know, uh, notes, emails. With Practice Manager, you do get unlimited emailing and SMS, which is another added bonus with this product. And we also provide unlimited uh, document storage and emailing, oh, sorry, oh, well, I mentioned that earlier. So document storage, sharing, so that's all gonna be supported with this product as well. As I mentioned before, clients can also get their own free portal, free of charge, no limit, and they can do their own document e-signing, sharing, and storage. Uh, we've also got a new feature for the uh, the letters. So letters we do have supported, but we've just increased uh, the, the amount of letters that we now support. So we've got like letters of engagement, proposal letters, disengagement, and so forth, uh, which is all going to be supported in the settings tab, which we'll get to. Um, and you can have them sent out through the software. Onboarding is where we have the onboarding, AML checklists, um, 
onboarding checklist as well as the compliance checks. This is all integrated with Verify. So if you are equated with Verify, they are AML specialists, which we're partnered with, and you can run any of those checks through the system here. Just to clarify, guys, technically the only additional costs with KPM's uh, subscription, as it currently stands, are bank feeds, which will soon be integrated into bookkeeping, so you don't have to worry about that. And we have um, the AML checks with Verify. So uh, again, because we have a partnership with them, they are technically discounted. But just to clarify, every everything else in terms of the user licenses, uh, the e-signing, uh, document storage, SMS, uh, employees for payroll, for example, that is all unlimited and comes with the package straight away. Uh, but aside from that, we've also got the workspace, as I said before, where we can do all of our deadlines, tasks, record timesheets, invoices, which will also be supported globally as well. Um, but because we're on a client perspective, this is all going to be here. And we've got the schedule where we can schedule in the meetings with the clients. We've got details where we can track all their details and information. And settings is where we can see all of their services that we're providing. You can always update the pricing. You can toggle them as active or inactive through the system. And this is where we've got their summary, which you can adjust accordingly. Aside from that, we've also got all these other elements where we've got the tasks, we've got deadlines and so forth. So they're all gonna be supported through the system here. Um, we've also got the Kanban view, which is my personal favorite as it gives like a visual representation and breakdown of everything that's going on. You've got your calendar view by status. So you can see exactly all that's going on with your staff and accountants, which as I mentioned before, there's no extra cost for that. So you can get them all set up and, uh, you know, apply all the specific privileges in terms of clients and uh, module access and so forth. And of course, we have deadlines. So that's all integrated with the tasks in this in this system. Aside from that, we've also got schedule where we can schedule meetings, client requests, we can send out those tickets, communication, we can track all our email, uh, SMS communication with the clients. This is basically like a one way reminder system, uh, like a mail merge function. And conversations is where we can actually integrate our Gmail Outlook uh, inbox into KPM. So as long as you, you know, you link up the email ID, it will set up an automatic forwarding rule. So emails inbound, outbound will be tracked here. Aside from that, we've also got practice where we can invite our team members. We've also got the ability to record timesheets, invoices, CapiSign is the e-signing, as I mentioned earlier, and calendar is where we can track our Gmail outlook as well, uh, calendars, which is very helpful. Uh, CRM, as I mentioned earlier, is the growth element, which is very helpful with this module. This is where we can import our leads and our prospects and convert them into clients. So if I click onto one of my prospects, which I've got here, so Cal. Oops, sorry, I just ticked that by accident. If I click onto their link, this will then take me to their timeline. I can send out emails, SMSs, notes. I've got the letters which we can send out, which through the system as I can select. We've got letters and engagement, disengagement letters, proposal letters, and so forth, which are now supported. You've got services, which you can add and remove, as well as tasks to track the conversion. So if they have been converted, you can select client, and they will go through the section here into the pipeline. Uh, but aside from that, guys, that is the reports where we can generate. We've also got settings where we can make all the uh, specific adjustments to all these sections globally. So any documents you need to, you know, customize and change can all be done here as well. So if I go to uh, disengagement letter, as you can see, this is where we've got our preset uh, letter format and you've got all these tokens which we can apply from right to left here as well. But aside from that, that in essence is the full suite product. If you guys have any further questions, you can always reach out to us. Uh, we do have free sessions, free demos, as well as free trials available. And you can always inquire about pricing as well. Uh, but aside from that, that was the full suite demo. Thanks for watching.